Eamon Gadji's highly polished videos use stuff like this all the time. Let's make our own version in CapCut. The last thing we add will give it that Je ne sais quoi. The first thing we need is a cool background like Eamon, so if you don't have one, we can use the AI in CapCut and just go Create a Starfield as seen from outer space. And Bam, we got a cool background. I have a video linked below that will teach you to use CapCut's AI, including its text image feature. In CapCut, we can just drag that star background to our timeline, and bam, we've got a great start. In fact, we could use something like that to create text. We could just go over here to text, click on default, drag it on top, and instead of boring text on a blank background, you can end up with something cooler like this. This is so exciting. But Eamon's backgrounds are rarely just sitting there, they're often moving. So to make it move easily within CapCut, we just jump going to effects. We scroll down until we find our favorite moving background effect thing, which is rebound swing, and we just drag it on top of it. And now, background's moving around. You can adjust it so that it works better for your purposes. In our case, we want it to move maybe a little bit less and a little bit slower, so we'll bump this down to maybe size 15, speed seven, and we have a very subtly moving background. You may have noticed that Eamon's background has a couple layers on top of the star field. He has a grid. Where do you get a grid? You could download one from the internet. You could use CapCut's AI to create a grid, or you could try this other website that does a great job creating images from text called lensgo.ai. And using that website, I created this background. Here's their logo here. Let's just drop it on top of the star field. We don't want to see the logo, so we're just going to scale it up a little bit. With this grid on top of the star field, I can't see the star field in order to see it because this grid has a black background itself. I'm just going to make sure it's highlighted in the timeline. Jump over to Video, Basic, Blend, and here I'm going to select Screen, and it'll make the black stuff just go transparent. And then bam, now we can see our star field behind the grid, but the grid's pretty overpowering, so we're just gonna bump the opacity down quite a bit. And now we have something that's looking, you know, a lot closer to Eamon's. If you play it, it looks like this, but his grid is actually moving too. So what we should do for that is jump back over to effects, grab rebound swing, drop it on there, and you want it to be different than the Starfield backgrounds so they don't move together. You want them to move out of sync. And the Starfield was, let's click on it and look at its settings, was 15 and seven. So for the grid, let's go ahead, click on this pencil so we can modify it. Instead of 15 and seven, let's make it 10 and five or something like that. 10 and five, slow it down quite a bit. And then they should move out of sync with each other. They're still pretty synky, so we're gonna, we're gonna change that even more. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Eamon has this parchment unrolling on the screen with statues on it and moving around. So the first thing we need is some parchment. We could either create one using AI or download one from the internet. I actually found this one online and it has a transparent background, which makes it easier to work with. Remember the goal of learning from videos like this where it's edit like Eamon, edit like Mr. Beast, isn't to become Eamon or Mr. Beast. You're never gonna be them. You're not them, you're gonna be you. So be inspired by them and make your own version. In Eamon's case, he's making videos about philosophers, but what if we're making a video about you know, the top four most popular actresses in the country right now. So you could just have literally CapCut's AI create them for you. And it helps if you put them on a green screen. So I just had CapCut make. Scarlett Johansson, Margot Robbie, Gal Gadot, Jennifer Lawrence. After importing our actresses and parchment into a new project in CapCut, we're going to add the parchment to the timeline. You can hit Shift Z so the timeline fills the bottom of the screen. We're gonna go with the default ratio so that it fits this parchment really well. We wanna scale the parchment up a little bit. It's gonna drag the corners a tiny bit just so it goes all the way to the edges to make this work just right. And then we want our actresses on this parchment one at a time. So we're just gonna grab Gal Gadot. I think it's Gadot in Hebrew and Gadot in English, but you can correct me below. So to make her fit on here and kind of look natural, one thing we can do is add a mask. So I'm just gonna click on mask, click on the circle, and I'm gonna just drag it so that it covers just before the edges. On the outside, I want it to go all the way out, but for her head and down here, I'm gonna have it just crop a little bit there. Then we're going to click on this guy right here to feather it a little bit so it's a little smoother. Her head and down here is blending pretty well with the parchment. The only thing we need to do now is get rid of the green. Now, if you go into cutout, you would think you would just go chroma key, grab the color picker, click on the green screen, slide it over, 
but in this case, it just didn't do a great job. You can see her start to breaking up here. When I click it enough to make the green go away, we start to lose pieces of gal here. So we're not gonna use chroma key. We're just gonna go to auto cut out and it does a pretty dang great job. Eamon's philosopher statue dudes are kind of glowing green. We're gonna make glowing red actresses. So for Gal, we're just gonna jump down here to retro for these light effects and click on halo, drag it on top of Gal. And when you play it, it looks like this. A Little bit too crazy for our purposes. We're just gonna drag the speed all the way down to zero. Atmosphere, we can just leave it around 84-ish or so and we get this. Looks pretty good, but she's still not red. To make her red, we're just going to click out of the effect by clicking right here below it in the timeline. So now that Gal is just selected, we're going to click on Adjustment. And right here it says Curves. We're gonna click on Curves. Looks scary, it's not. We're just gonna to go to the red curve. So we're gonna scroll down here to red. And just quick lesson on these curves. This is bright, this is dark. This is white and black, and when you adjust these, it modifies the dark or the light. And to make this all red, all we do is we take this left one, the one that adjusts the blacks, and we drag it all the way to the top, and bam, we have red Gal Gadot. And with that little effect, not bad so far, right? Eamon's parchments are unrolling on the screen, and the closest way to approximate that in CapCut that I've found is using the paper ball effect, but it's kind of a trick. So to do it, we're going to merge these two layers because you want them to be together as they unfold. So I highlight both of them, I right click on them, and I choose Create Compound Clip. In other programs like Premiere, that's called a nesting clip. I'm gonna jump into the middle here somewhere, it doesn't matter too much, and I'm gonna place a cut here by hitting Command B on a Mac or Control B on a PC or by clicking on this little icon right here. And now we have the same clip but twice, so we have a place for a transition. So we're gonna jump up here to transitions and find the paper ball effect on my computer. It is right down here under the last trending thing, right there. Some of you have mentioned that you can't find the paper ball effect. I don't know for certain, I have no inside information on this, but it may be because you are downloading it in a country that doesn't offer that and CapCut may have different iterations of its program in different countries. If you want this effect, one possible solution, don't know if this will work, let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Use a VPN and VPN into the United States and re-download CapCut that way and see if the paper ball effect appears. Just let me know. We take the paper ball effect, we drag it onto the timeline, and it looks like this. Kind of cool, except that she shows up both places. So the hack I found, I've seen nobody else do this. You click on this first clip, jump into video, basic opacity, drag it down all the way, <gasps> nothing there. And if we play it, what? Now if we just export this as is and bring it into our other project to start laying it on top of that Starfield background, it's not gonna work because we have this black background. To make it work, what you wanna do is put some green underneath it so we can easily key out the green and notice there is no other green in this image so it should work pretty well. If you don't have a green image, you can just download one from the internet or from Canva. By the way, when you find elements that you use a lot, graphics you use all the time, like maybe a subscribe button or a green screen, just save it in the same place. I have a place on my computer under movies, graphics, and then I have generic and in my generic folder I have green screen, Trev, this is just one I made in Photoshop, but you can get these all over the internet easily. So there's my green, and notice that it's a vibrant, bright green, so it's not gonna clash with people's eyes and such. I'm just gonna drag to the timeline and drag Gal on top of that green screen. Now, this looks like this. And it doesn't look great because the green is there, but this is gonna be really helpful. And also gonna make sure that the green goes all the way to the top and bottom and edges of the screen. Through that, we're just gonna click on it and scale it up. And now, it looks like this. And we're gonna export this. We just go to export. That's great, we have one, but we've got three more to make. And to do it all over again from scratch it might be a pain, but what if there was a hack to make this super easy? There is. Let's go ahead and delete the transition, delete this first clip, drag this all the way forward, right click and choose uncompound clip. And now all we have to do is take the next actress. Let's take Margot Robbie. We're gonna drag her on top here. See the little green plus icon up here? We let go and it says, use the original video effect, yes. Replace clip, yes. Yeah, I'm sure, confirm. And now, what? Margot Robbie's already ready to rock. 
Now because I hit some undos, this green background is the wrong size. So just make sure things are right, scale that back up. And then we compound this clip again, create compound clip. We create a cut in the middle, Command B. And we go back to transitions. We drag our paper ball here and we click on this first image of Margo and we take the opacity all the way down and we just export it and do exactly the same thing for the remaining two actresses. Next, we jump back into our main project with the background and we import all four of the actresses on parchment that we created and we just drag them to the timeline and we find where this transition starts to take place, which is right here. Go to that very first frame. Then we're just gonna split it right there delete this green portion here, drag this all the way to the beginning, and we need to get rid of the green. To do that, we simply make sure that this is highlighted in the timeline. We go to Cutout, click on Chroma Key, click Color Picker, click on the green, drag the slider up as much as you want pretty much because there's not a lot of green going on in that image other than that background, add a little bit of shadow, and then we can just scale Gal here, put her maybe in this top left, we can rotate her around like that. Looks like this. That's not bad, but in Eamon's video, the images are all moving. How do we make it move? Well, we jump back into effects and we find rebound swing. Now, by the way, if you're gonna be using something a lot, you'll probably use this one a lot. You wanna make it a favorite to do that. When you go down to any of these images, they have these stars. So you just click on the star and then it becomes one of your favorites it appears at the top. So you don't have to dig for it because it is can be kind of hard to find these guys down here. So this one, notice, gold star, gonna drag it on top of Gal, and default. I mean, it's moving a little bit kind of crazy. The, the size is kind of nuts. So I'm just gonna take the size way down so it moves less to seven. Let's see what 733 looks like. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, we can leave it there. We wanna repeat this for all three other actresses, just position them a little bit different and adjust their rebound swing a little different so they're not moving in sync. And in the timeline, you wanna space them out like this so they don't start at exactly the same time, but have them all end at the same time. And then we'll go full screen and we get something like this. This next thing's gonna make you just look a little cooler, a little more pro. We're gonna jump back into effects and find an effect called black noise. I have it up here in favorites, but I think you'll find it here in retro. So I'm gonna take black noise and instead of dropping it on an individual clip, I'm gonna drop it above all of them here at the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna stretch it for the duration of the timeline. And now we have an effect that looks like this. See all those specs that just kind of give that extra <clears throat> All of these images of these girls are still images. You could do exactly the same thing with a video clip and put it here. So these would be like four different video clips moving. In fact, they have a little bit of animation within them because the glow is moving a little bit, but it could be a full video clip. What would that look like if we added a video clip, maybe stuck it here, added some music and sound effects? Let's, uh, let's see. If you want to see some Eamon Gadgie level After Effects animation, you can do right within CapCut that might even be cooler than this. You want to click on this video right here. Also, if you want to see how to do that hoodie headbang transformation thing, go ahead and hit subscribe. If this video gets 500 new subscribers, I'll create that for you. I, I can't wait to make it.